Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So today we are going to discuss why we require data warehouse. What are the so reason one uh, with the passage of time uh, as I explained before the size of data sets are growing day by day. Besides the cost of storing the data is coming down day by day. So that means we, with the passage of time, we are getting more opportunity to store maximum data in less cost. So that's why we can maintain a data warehouse. So uh, second reason is nowadays business demand intelligence. So uh, they want answer of complex questions. So uh, now business don't want uh, uh, all the time answers of just straightforward queries. So now businesses want uh, that what, what the databases they have, they want them to be integrated and they want answers of complex questions from those integrated databases. So such organizations uh, we call intelligent enterprises. So uh, now I in this slide uh, I uh, will tell you what are the typical uh, database uh, queries, straightforward queries, and in the next slide I will tell you what the intelligent enterprises uh, want now. What are the questions of intelligent enterprises? So the typical DBMS queries can be uh, list, uh, show me list of all items that were sold last month. So I can write SQL against that. So list of all items purchased by some particular person. So I can easily write SQL against that. Uh, the total sales of the last month group by group by branch. So the total sales, uh, sum of sales of some particular month and using group by clause. So how many sales transactions uh, occur during the month of January? This is again a simple query. I can count the total number of transactions which occur during the month of January. But nowadays, uh, intelligent enterprises, uh, besides the straightforward queries, want answers of such type of uh, complex questions, such, such that which items sell together, which items to stock. So we don't know that in advance that which items sell together. So we can't write SQL against that. So, uh, which, where and how to place the items? What should be the placement strategy of the items? In what way we should place the items or in what ways we should package the items to maximize the profit? And what discounts we, we should offer? So, how best to target customers to increase sales at a particular branch? So for that, I have, I must know the likings and dislikings of my customers. Only then I can target them uh, in the best way. So which customers are most likely to respond to my next promotional campaign? Our company is going to offer a promotional campaign. Now the company wants to know in advance that among the groups of customers, which customers will respond it in uh, in a uh, maximum way so and why what is the reason behind that so intelligent enterprises to remain in the business now want answers of complex questions so now businesses want much more they want what happened why it happened what is the reason behind that? What will happen in future? What is happening? And what do you want to happen? What do a business want to happen? 
so these we call uh, the uh, stages of data warehouse so as the stages evolve as we move from first stage to fifth stage the uh, batch processing decreases and is minimum in the fifth stage so and ad hoc query processing increases and what is ad hoc query processing this i will explain in in next slides so what is data warehouse it is a complete repository of historical data extracted from transaction systems that is available for ad hoc access by knowledge workers so let me explain the terms one by one in next slide so what is complete repository all the data is present from all the branches outlets of the business for example if i am going to make a data warehouse for bank so data should be there from all the branches and outlets even the archive data may be brought online maybe there is a archive data which is saved somewhere so uh, there should be a requirement there can be a requirement that you have to brought uh, archive data in the data warehouse so data from arcane and old systems is also brought online so usually uh, in from legacy systems or from uh, arcane or arcane data arcane data means in the format uh, the format of the data you are unable to understand the format is uh, strange for you so uh, even that the kind of data Uh, you you have to bro, uh, bring online so that's why it is said to be a complete repository of data so uh, from transactional systems so like different kinds of uh, information systems like uh, sales system like inventory systems like uh, there can be different mis systems for to manage different kind of business so could be a type sheet not in a transaction system but you have to bring it to data warehouse for the purpose of analysis and ad hoc access so ad hoc access means does not have a certain access pattern query is not known in advance so that's why it is difficult to write sql in advance so uh what is ad hoc access in which queries does not have a certain repeatable pattern and it's not known in advance queries are not known in advance consider financial transactions like a bank deposit you know exactly that either the records will be inserted deleted are updated so you know that what can be the transactions in oltp systems or erp systems but in data warehouse there are no there are really no fixed patterns of queries say a decision maker just sits down and thinks about what questions he or uh, has about customers and their behaviors so uh, that's why it is difficult to write sql in advance so ad hoc access is the one in which queries don't have a certain defined pattern queries in which queries are not known in advance so uh, used by knowledge workers so the users of the data warehouse are knowledge workers in other words they are decision makers and top level management 
of the organization like executives analysts managers they are not clerical people so uh, they are the users of uh, dataware house so another definition of data warehouse is a data warehouse is subject oriented integrated time variant and non volatile collection of data in support of management's decision making process so i will explain the terms in next slides so what is subject oriented so a data warehouse can be used to analyze a particular subject area so basically the goal of the data warehouse is to improve decision making of major subjects of enterprise such as customer product some particular region in contrast the oltp applications of our operation systems are organized around the workflows of the company so uh, data warehouse is organized around subject areas what can be the subjects of data warehouse it can be sales product customer account claim whatever uh, subject we want to investigate while the operation systems are organized around the workflows of the company like order processing customer loans accounts receivable what are the workflows so second is that the data warehouse is integrated so the data in warehouse is loaded from different sources that store the data in different formats obviously when there are different uh, sources the data in them it can never be in same format and focus on different aspects of the subject so data has to be checked cleansed and transformed into unified format uh, before loading into warehouse to allow easy and fast access the so second point is data is integrated third is uh, data is time variant so time variant records are records that are created as of some moment in time so in oltp systems in operational systems uh the contents changes with time let's say take the example of your bank account balance when you withdraw some cash your uh, your balance uh, will be updated but in data warehouse as the data is loaded the moment usually becomes its time stamp so uh, what is the reason behind it you have to think about it so a uh, data warehouse is non volatile so uh, unlike oltp systems after inserting the data into data warehouse it is neither change nor removed by definition so the only exception is when false or incorrect data gets inserted or the capacity of the data warehouse exceeded and archiving becomes necessary so in oltp systems you can read change add delete but in data warehouse you can only read so it is non volatile another concept in data warehouse is granularity so data granularity refers to level of detail 
uh, of data stored in fact table in data warehouse so low granularity refers to detailed data that is at or near the transaction level atomic level while the high granularity indicates the summarized or aggregated data usually from the atomic level data so you have to place data in data uh, data warehouse at some granularity so three data levels in a banking uh, data warehouse like daily detail can be account account date amount withdrawal deposit monthly summary can be account month number of transactions in that month how many withdrawals how many deposits beginning and ending balance and quarterly summary after 3 month summary is account month number of transactions withdrawals deposits so data granularity refers to level of detail depending on the requirements multiple levels of detail may be present in the warehouse so many data warehouses have dual level of granularity so uh, this is an example for a single customers for a month an exam an average 45000 bytes are required to to keep 200 records so if we lightly summarize the data Uh, like in this way so number of bytes are now reduced to 225 to uh, keep the record so with little summarization of data large quantities of data can be represented in a compact way so that's why uh, we maintain summary in data warehouse and because uh, Uh, we require summary also in data warehouse we uh, the same maker rarely go to transaction level detail he or she requires summary usually summary of the business what is the total count what is the average what is the sum what is the mean so the same maker usually works with summary so how is data warehouse different from the operational systems that you are already familiar with so uh, operational systems uh, uh, you can say making the wheels of business turn so the operational systems are online transactional processing systems these are the systems that are used to run the day to day core business of the company so these systems typically get the data into the database each transaction processes information about a single entity such as single order or uh, invoice generation or a customer so what can be the uh, uh, process in uh, operational systems like take an order process a claim make a shipment generate an invoice receive cash and reserves reserve an airline seat so these can be the operations in operational systems while the cn support systems uh, basically watching the wheels of the business turn they are basically designed to that how that the cn maker can improve the business so uh, the cn support systems are not meant to run the business processes they are used to watch how the business runs and then make strategic decisions to improve the business so what can be the queries of the cn maker show me the top selling products show me the problem regions in what regions there is a problem so if uh, some region is identified Uh, he have to further drill, drill down to see the reason of the problem then let me see other data 
that operation is called drill across and show the highest margins and alert me when a region or a district sells below target so these can be the uh, uh, queries of a decision maker so basically the scope and purpose of these two types of systems uh, operational systems that you are, that you are already familiar with and decision support systems are different